know your love is cooking like a clock in, uh, let me vent. My name is Johanna Kelly, and let me vent. So she ended up putting him out, um, took the vehicles, she drove him all the way to Jasper to his mom's house. And we, uh, she drove him and then I remember him asking, well, you're not gonna come and speak. She was like, yeah, I'ma come, I'ma come. And she just burnt off. I was like, no mama, you know that was wrong. <laughs> so, you know, I ended up telling her, cause you know, like before that, like before he even stopped coming home, they would do like a lot of arguing. And so, you know, I had told her, like, after we had dropped them off, I was like, um, now I can sleep at night, you know. I don't have to hear all this fussing at night and stuff. I can finally sleep. So, like, on some nights, school nights, I go to my grandmother's house. So, she stayed, you know, like, right across the street. I go over there. And, you know, we'll, you know, I'll just be over there with all the other grandkids. Be over there. She'll usually call, like, in the morning about... Five o'clock. Tell me it's time to get ready for school. And so she had just said like it's happened February fourth, two thousand five, and on the third she had just said like that night. I don't know. Can't remember the reason she came across the street to my grandmother's house, but she had just said you know. Go get Bo, which is my cousin, you know, go get him so he can come watch me across the street because we never know who's going to jump out. And so, you know, I was like, ain't nobody going to do that, you know. He's scared over there, but she was like, well. He called me and told me he was going, you know, do something, but I'm not going to say what, you know, because I don't want you to be scared. And she was like, and his sister them had been calling. You know, basically trying to warn her, you know, to, I guess, move around. But, you know, mama, she just want to be big and bad, not scared of it. And about 4 o'clock that morning, she called and she was just like, you know, she had been stabbed more than 14 times. But when I heard my grandmother's reaction, you know, I just was like, maybe she drunk or something because... You know, she kept asking what happened or where you at, and so I'm like, my mama drunk, but I'm like, mama don't even drink, so she can't be drunk. So, you know, I'm like, because when we got the call, my grandma started waking me up, telling me, you know, get up, this your mama call, it's time to go to school. Well, it was only, you know, it was four o'clock. So then, grandma jumped up, she started screaming, telling everybody to go over there. But she wouldn't let me go. Uh, my cousin who stayed with her is LaRonda. She jumped 
jumped up, ran over there with a bag, and just busted in there, but he had already escaped. By that time, we all was outside. It was a house full of us, it was all outside by that time. And she came running back and she was telling us, you know, like, she all right, you know, she talking to us and stuff like that, you know, I believe she gonna be all right. So, you know, I'm like, okay. Nobody's still not seeing exactly what's going on. But I just kept saying, I know it was him. You know, I know it was him, it had to be him, cause she just said, you know, he was calling saying he was gonna do something. She just wouldn't tell me what. So, you know, she was saying, you know, as I wanted, and I was like, what was mom saying? She was like, she just kept saying, you know, it was him, it was him that was fighting. And it was a butter knife that my grandmother had used the day before. It was the only thing in the sink my grandmother had used back before. And he, you know, he started off with a butter knife because they were fighting. And from what she said, you know, she was getting the best of him and he got mad. And then, because we had already boarded up the patio, I'll listen to it because I mean, he never put his hands on her, so that's why I kept saying, you know, he's not gonna do nothing. And you know, we had boarded everything up, but he bust through it. And I mean, you know, he stabbed her, like I say, more than 14 times. And you know, by the time they were, because I was trying to walk over there, but they wouldn't allow him to. My grandmother kept saying no. But my grandma went over there after they had just ruled out. Now, by the time the ambulance took about an hour and a half, because you know, I truly believe she probably would have made it if they wouldn't have took so long. And you know, so you know, by the time they would her out, you know, standing across the street, you know, we could see the knife coming out. And so, you know, I was like, you know, this knife right there. You know, they didn't want me to see none of that, but you know, I had to see something. So, you know, they was like, uh, you know, y'all can go in and get some stuff, you know, like anything that was valuable. He hadn't stole all the money single tax time. And she had it like all in cash, not in the bank or anything. So he had to took all that. He changed his, he was trying to change his clothes. He rode over on the bike. <laughs> wow. He was trying to change his clothes, I guess, so he wouldn't have blood everywhere. He changed him in the front yard. Still think about the good times we had. But I mean, you know, by the time she had got to the hospital, she was, she was out. Or whatever, you know, they called and they were saying, you know, she can pass. And I, I, at the time, I really just couldn't believe it because I'm like, my mom, <laughs> I know, I know y'all lying. <laughs> so, you know, I'm like, um, you know, I was just screaming and stuff. And I'm like, nah, it's, you know, it gotta be a joke. So, I mean, you know, like, he wasn't, he didn't seem like the type to just do something like that. He didn't seem like he would just do something like that. So, you know, it, at the time, it was kind of unbelievable. But, I mean, it's something that, I mean, you know, in most cases, nowadays, you never know what a person, you know, would do. And at the time, you know, that really just helped me, you know, like, kind of helped me get through life. I had to grow way faster. Like, I had to mature way faster than other people my age or whatever. So, I mean, I learned a lot from it. You know, it still, like, wasn't me every day, like, I think about them every single day. And you know, the situation that she was in, like you never know what a person go go through to you, you know, you actually get to know them. And like going through school and stuff, like I remember like when it happened, the whole school just was coming to the house and bringing flowers and stuff. Like I couldn't eat for days. I didn't go to school. I just went to my dad's house in Louisiana. I didn't go to school for about a week or two. It was just like, it was crazy, but being young, you know, nobody thinks they'll just go through something so young. But I mean, you know, it happened. Isn't nothing you can do. I forgive them and stuff. But I always used to, I wanna go talk to them. But I don't think it ever happened. But yeah, I mean, you know, things happen. I don't hate them. I got older, I was like, man, I ain't no man, I'm not gonna get close to no man, cause ain't no man finna, you know, do what he did to mom, so it's not, I'm not gonna talk to a guy, but then, I mean, things changed as I grew older, like just in my senior year, 
things changed and I was like, you know, somebody gonna love me one day. I just gotta get myself together and get out of that little stage. Be hurt a couple times, but you know, it's all right. My family was so close. Like, real close. Like, we always had family gatherings. Mom would always get people together, like the whole family. We'll go to Louisiana just for the Christmas festival for the weekend. We'll go out there. Um, like, for my birthday, everybody from Louisiana and wherever we had family, Dallas, they'll all come down. Now, we finally had family come in, you know, for Thanksgiving on yesterday, but it still wasn't the whole family like it would be if mom was here. So, I mean, it basically, we kind of separated. Yeah, they would, absolutely, they said all the time. Like, just by me just being around, she looked like Kevin's daughter. And I'm like, yeah, that was my mama. And, I mean, we had the same hair color, everything. She was blonde, and I grew old, and I wanted to be blonde. Not just because of her, but you know, just something about it. I just want to try it, and that's when everybody was like, "Oh yeah, you look exactly like her." Act like loud, <laughs> laughing, all that same exact person. I just say, "Why? Hey, what would make you do something like this?" I probably wouldn't even ask for over makeup. I just don't know why. So over the past, girl, so where you been? Where you been, huh? You know I need you more than ever, just a vent, huh? And lately I've been getting, getting so bent, so bent. You know your love you comes along to clock and thin, huh? I know I contradict myself, but you don't hear me though. I need you lately now more than ever before. That I'm killing could be a, a football player, could be a track star. And it was just like ironic that she said that because he played football, and I ran track. Where you been, girl? Where you been, huh? You know I need you more than ever, just a van, huh? And lately I've been getting so bent. So you know your love is cooking like the clock can, huh? You let me vent. Uh, 